Hey, uh, this is Sheldon. Let's go over how to do the view stub as being someone who is receiving the invitation. So I have on my one screen how to build the sponsorship booth. This is uh, something that was given to me by Elaine. So I am going to do her step by step aligns with the view stub people. So first, what I did is I copy that access code and I'm going to do access the event. So that brings me here where I'm going to paste in that code. Uh, I always like to check and make sure that there's no extra characters. So I move my cursor over there. I'll move it on this side. No extra characters, no space. Then I enter the event. All right. So move me over there. All right. So here's what I'm looking at. It shows my actual uh, safety consultant TV logo. I've got yeah, the option to log in over here. Let's see, you can do media playlist. So basically for media, it looks like uh, we could do uh, media uploads and the media is MP4. Uh, we've got the actual event schedule here. workshop schedule. Oh wow, so you can pick a part of uh, the events that you want to go to. So going back. Hmm. All right, uh, next one, speaker is telling me more about the event. Uh, the virtual booth over here. So this one will be our booth. So it's taking someone there. I kind of clicked on the, the virtual booth where it has me, Safety Consultant TV. And over here is giving me where if I wanted to add a live stream or upload something, I would click right here. So media type is if I have and I do have a system uh, called B.Live and then I have another system <laughs> that I use called OneStream and or even Zoom, which you're familiar with, uh, what you can do at this point is click on that and uh, you'll end up having to do uh, the the setup process, if you will, for your live streaming. And now you can talk directly to uh, whoever's at your booth in real time. If you have a commercial, you can upload your commercial. Let's, uh, let's give that a shot right now. Let's see if I could upload uh, my commercial. So I am going to find my file. Pretty sure I've got um, my commercial fairly easy to find. Uh, to that, uh, there we go. So we're going to add that in. Um, 50 consultant TV overview. So this is what they're going to see. Um, I'm going to, let's see, it says uh, subtitles. This will appear under your video's title, uh, meaning introduction video. Okay, let's do um, virtual. I have a thumbnail I could put that in too. So let's see, I'm going to just put a thumbnail of the logo. So let's go ahead and find my logo. Uh, actually, let's do, yeah, there just gonna do one of these simple ones that I had. All right, um, I could choose to fit width-wise, so I only get the logo there. If I choose height, it's gonna get everything. I'm gonna crop that. Scroll down, see what else I need to do. Uh, some, okay, so similar like to live stream, this video will start playing at the time indicated below and appear as a live stream video. So well, that'd be awesome. Uh, so basically what I would do there is just click yes, I want to do that. So be, when uh, the time comes that we're going to do the breakouts and when people break and they go to your booth, then now it looks like you're delivering this live. Uh, this one is would be if you are actually doing a video of yourself, doing a presentation of your product or service, 
then that's what you're doing. I have an actual commercial, so it's probably not going to come out real great as a live stream. <laughs> so I probably should take that off if I'm really doing this. And you're actually going to be able to see this booth. Um, if, if you're at the event, go ahead and check out this booth. You'll see the setup process through the video, so you'll see what I did. Uh, so the media, we can go ahead and add the media now. Uh, the date of the event, I could put that in for when I'm going to add my media. Uh, let's see, uh, release date, when the video is available for viewers. Okay, so that's what I'm doing here. Man, I should read that. So release date, uh, and then I could release it immediately. Yeah, let's do that. I'm going to release this one immediately. And description of video is optional. I'm just going to put in... Um, Overview, commercial, mm, you'll tell me if I spell it right or wrong. Oh my goodness, I have to work with my spelling. It just <laughs> it really stinks, doesn't it? All right, so there we go. Overview, commercial. Um, gonna add this. So it looks like it's adding that in. Yes. I got this part right. Hopefully I'm gonna be able to get the rest of this right. Uh, all right, um, while this is loading, I'm going to reference uh, where I am. Do, 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 copy your access code, click on the access event. You're on the event page. All right, I did pass that. I put in the access, so I'm good with that. So see more. Hey, that's not bad. So it's public, polls are disabled, but chats can be used here. Um, I guess you can't do the polls right yet, but there's also levels of sponsorship too. So um, make sure you get that. All right, public, it's right here. If we wanna do a push notification for anyone that is uh, in the event, we can actually um, type in what it is. Let's say, uh, welcome. Welcome from Safety Consulting. Oh man, I have been just completely spoiled by spell check. <laughs> I can't even get consulted now. <laughs> and it's like my business. I should be able to do that, right? All right, urgency. Ah, oh, so you can label as far as uh, how quickly to send it out or not. Should this be more like an unboxing video or something? Is, that, is this like the virtual unboxing of this, this actual feature? I'm going to call it an unboxing. All right, let's do this. Uh, delivery now, because I'm impatient. I wonder who's going to get this. <laughs> Save and send. Let's see what happens. Uh, sponsor with the welcome. Hopefully uh, it's at this time of recording. It's 7.30 a.m. Uh, Eastern time. So if you're going to this event, <laughs> you just got a notification for me. Welcome. <laughs> All right, let's see. Platform frequently asked questions. I uh, can't see the video. Oh, nice. So it's already pre-made uh, for you as having a frequently asked questions. Oh man, it looks like I planned that thing. I didn't actually blend it. Let's see if the video works Have you here. heard of Safety Consultant TV? Well, I'm gonna tell you about it. The Safety Consultant TV is right. a subscription-based video on demand service not bad at all. So that means you can actually do your videos uh, and set it up ahead of time. And it looks like it's a media playlist. So by being a playlist, you could just keep adding and adding and adding. And therefore, your virtual booth will work without you being there. Or if you have someone monitoring the booth, then of course, obviously, you could have the feature of the chat in your click uh, call to actions. But with the call to actions, uh, truly, that's going to be something that we'll have to work out, but I think that my Hey, it's me again. I forgot like like really important features. So let me go back and uh, and include Some features that we need to do. So what I did is like 
went to the sponsor booth. So this is the event. Uh, so some of the stuff with the event I haven't done yet. I haven't done the playlist and a few other things, but going to the virtual sponsor booth, click on my booth over here. I showed you guys how I uploaded the video earlier. I forgot to show you this. Click on this. You could chat to someone who may be at the booth the same time you are. Over here, you could create a poll and, uh, and create a poll that your actual uh, users can now look at and, and interact with you. You could ask, answer questions that have been asked about your service or product. Add your own links here. So if you're going to do some sort of special, then go ahead and, and do a, a special. Create a call to action so someone can sign up for whatever you're, you're at. And then you could actually start getting fields put in here. Uh, so you label what it is. Let's say uh, the fields meaning uh, someone could fill this out while they're in the booth. So you could label this as your name and um, let's see, name. So make sure that there is nothing here. All right, so we're going to do a short answer for that one. Save that field. We're going to add another one. And now uh, let's call this one email. Uh, short answer for that one. Let's see any email options. single box if they wish to up it. Oh, awesome. So let's do that next. So we got the name, uh, then we got the email over here. Let's see if I can, yeah, I can move orders that way. Uh, let's add the opt-in. So let's uh let's go ahead and I wonder if I have to save that in any way. I don't see where I need to save that. And then you get to download the responses, so not bad. And it looks like it's gonna come out in a CSV a comma separated, let's see. Yep, a comma separated value file. So uh, that's the real good file that you want. So when you're gonna take this information, especially as it's separated in each field, you could have an upload of uh, first names only, then last name after that, and then emails as its own. And probably you may want to do, if you have a physical product, you might want to do address or at least city and state. Uh, so you can get an idea of where everybody is or even country because it is international. And so that might be one of the fields. So you're basically building your uh, your call to action or your lead generation. And then again, a call to action here. Let's make a new one. Uh, that's going to lead you to the actual URL. You could name your button as in color your button for your basically to match your brand. Let's see. It's kind of hard. Now what I'm doing is I'm looking at this color yellow here and seeing if I can match it up with that one. Closer to this palette over here, roughly. You need a little lighter, but let's just do that. Right here ish. All right. You guys don't have to see that. I'm a perfectionist. Yeah, then we could open a link in a new tab so you, they don't leave your booth. You could have them actually go to a new pad uh, tab there, or you can bed link inside the panel. So I guess in this way it says uh, keep attendees on the event page. If you embed your link, uh, attendees can choose to open this link in a new tab. Note 
not all links can embed. If a link does not work, please consider having it open in a new tab. Hmm. Let's give it a try. So I'm going to try the safety consultant playlist. Uh, safety consultant TV channels. And let's do this playlist here because this one is free. So I'm going to copy that playlist. I'm going to go ahead and paste it in here. Right now it looks like I could change that color as well. And learn more. Let's change it. Sounds. It does. There we go. I'm going to try the embed inside the panel. I can test it, but I just want to see. So it is visit us. Oh, look at that. You can actually see it. Not bad. Hmm. And then you can actually go there by opening a new tab. Look at that. We both learned something here. All right, so let me go back that way. That's our main booth. Uh, the about page, we can edit that over here if we need to. I already uploaded the live stream, showed you the chat. All right, so just remember, this is the main event um, links. And then this over here, when you click on the booth, is basically your channel over here, what you can do. All right. Now I think I've covered everything. I cannot believe that I completely missed that part. That's like a, bi a big part. All right, so thank you again. <laughs> and hopefully this now will help you even more. All right, see ya.